Welcome, Crow's Cupboard Tribe. This is your Capricorn 2022 horoscope. Capricorn, this is going to be a challenging year for you. Now, I will still maintain that you are now, as you have ever been, the luckiest sign in the zodiac. There is no mistaking that. You are like Teflon. Literally nothing sticks to you. And you will always find a way, if nothing else but through sheer tenacity, you will always find a way. So having the grace of Saturn, you can always survive. The problem is you don't like having your capacity for survival tested. And this is a year when that's going to happen. You're going to be ensnared. Uh, certain kinds of new chances will be scams and beautiful things that draw your attention will bite you as soon as you're in striking distance. So you're going to have to be extremely careful to any new opportunities that seem too good to be true. And you're going to have to be very careful not to allow yourself to, to find some false sense of security in things just based on appearances, just based on the surface intentions that they exhibit. I know that that's daunting and you don't want to hear that. Nobody likes to hear bad news or that someone's out there to get them, but sometimes we have to rely on our resources, our grace in the universe, our tenacity, our ability to see clearly where others do not see clearly, just to make sure we can maintain and fight for another day. I want you to make sure that the situations you find yourself in always have an ally nearby. Do not throw yourself into situations or scenarios where you do not have someone who trusts you or has your back. This is definitely a buddy system year, a year for you to have always someone who has your best interests at heart in every situation where you feel potentially threatened. So bring a friend along, Make sure that you have someone on speed dial. Make sure that in your Zoom conferences, you have a, a shadow partner sitting in. Do something in every one of these scenarios where someone will have a chance to properly observe where you're at. And they will serve two purposes. They will both check you for your paranoia and defend you or give you good feedback when it's necessary. So when you have found out what kinds of enemies you have, remove them immediately. Do not continue entertaining someone who has presented themselves as a threat. Do not continue entertaining anyone who does not have your, your highest good in their heart. Now that might be a tough love scenario. There might be someone who seems very rough who still wants the best for you. You'll have to learn to accept that. But if someone is through and through just trying to milk you for your financial resources or use you for social gain or some other way of promoting themselves over and beyond you, remove them as soon as you possibly can. This is going to be a year that has you focused on visual things more than previous years. Maybe it's a time to take an art appreciation class or an art history class. You might even think about going into architecture or perhaps some sort of a craft involving carpentry. This isn't a year that has you traveling a great deal, and that's a good thing because it's not a year where you should be traveling. You should be staying close to home where things are safe, you should be taking stock of the things that you value and what kinds of opportunities you can start planning for 2023. January the 2nd saw the new moon in your sign and you probably felt it was a dark time. It was a super new moon that probably promoted a great deal of paranoia. You might have believed your mate was cheating on you and you might have believed your business partner was trying to stab you in the back. You might have been right on both counts, but you also need to check yourself and make sure that your mind isn't running away from you because sometimes we are our own worst enemies, aren't we? January the 24th saw Mars entering your sign. So you probably felt a lot of fury bubbling up, but you have to temper that and keep a deadpan so that nobody recognizes how deeply your emotions are stirred. January the 25th saw Mercury going in retrograde in your sign. So the muddied thinking was 
probably really difficult for you to work past. However, I think you've by now burned it all off and you're dedicated to whatever it is that you're looking for. July 13th has a full moon in your sign. It's a super full moon. And I want you to pay more attention to your health than you have in the past. You've probably been adding a few extra pounds in the past few months because you've grown sedentary. Well, this is the time for you to pick up either a completely new fitness regimen or get back to an old one that used to work for you. You know that you used to be much better looking than you are today. And you should try to get back to that because aesthetics count to you more than you'll ever let anyone know. Aesthetics really count to you. December the 6th has Mercury entering your sign again, and this is a great time for you to try new business projects, to invest in something that you clearly see as an opportunity. December the 9th has Venus entering your sign. This is probably a chance to let go of an old relationship and start a new one. If it's not, and you just want to stay where you're at, reevaluate the restrictions that you've been following for the relationship that you're in. December the 21st has the sun entering your sign and it's time to celebrate and relax. The year is drawing to a close and you've had a rough one. So by now you should just enjoy yourself and make sure that anyone who's buying you a gift for your birthday knows that this year you want both your birthday gift and a gift for Christmas. Don't let them wrap it all in one because that's just rude and cheap. December the 23rd has a new moon in your sign. This is where you should write down your intentions and set them for 2023. So until I see you again, have a wonderful 2022 Capricorn.